Hello, I'm here with Derek Redmond, who's working with us today in his capacity as Group Performance Director for Thomas International. Uh, Derek is an athlete. During his athletics career, he was the British record holder for the 100 metres and won gold medals in various championships. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Derek. Hello. Thank you very much for coming in today. No problem. I just wanted to ask you a few short questions yeah. uh, about your new role within Thomas, if you don't mind. No, that's fine. Okay, so uh, question number one, how do you think Thomas, using the Thomas personality assessment might potentially help an employer who is looking to recruit new staff for their team? I, I, I mean, for me, um, I, I'll give you a little bit of a, a, a story, I'll try not to be too long, is when someone is applying for a job, um, and this is how I explain this to people, when someone's sort of applying for a job or, or looking for work and you, you've got a, an employer who says yes, you know, come see us and have an interview or for a recruitment company, that person tends to give you the answers you want to hear. Their CV is pretty biased towards them because actually they've written it themselves. Mm -hmm. And with you know some of our tools, certainly we take this take the PPA, which is a, is possibly the most well known tool that we we do. It kind of takes that mask off and, and delves, delves a little bit deeper, so we can actually see a little bit more to what makes you work and how you operate. And it's 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 almost like the employer has a little bit more information that you won't ordinarily divulge. So it just gives them a little bit more information to make a much more informed decision. Mm -hmm. On yeah. taking that right, you know, that right person on. Um, in the, you know, on the other hand, they may have all the the qualifications for that role, but actually, with their let's use the word personality or with their traits, they might not be the right person to fit into that organisation because it might not quite work with the rest of the team. So it gives you that ability to make, as I say, to make a much more informed decision and hopefully take someone on that fits in with your organisation and that actually does what you want them to do. Or even if they don't, at least you have the tools to know what they are like, and you can. Absolutely. Them. If they don't, uh, you know, you, you've got the tools to, you know, to, to maybe work on that, and if there's maybe some training involved to get them to where you, you want yeah. to be. But you just have a lot more of an understanding, and I'm trying to put it in in what I call layman's terms, just to make it a lot easier to explain. Well, oh, thank you. And when they're in the team, or you have an existing team, what, what are the, benef the benefits of using Thomas then? Well, the benefits are, is actually, that, I mean, the first thing, and if you want to talk teams, and, and I sort of revert back to, to my old world, which is, in the, you know, the world of sport, one of the things is, is knowing your players, knowing your, your teammates, um, uh, you, you know, your fellow co-workers in, in, in this game. And that's absolutely paramount in the world of business, is, is having a team that works well together. Um, I mean, I, you know, I pretty much travel the world talking about you know how teams should work together mm -hmm. and some of the some of the things that you need within a team and again it's also understanding how to work with those individuals and certain people need to be approached in certain ways need to be asked to do something some might like to be told and people have a much more understanding of how everybody operates within that team and if you can get that kind of situation where people do understand how each other works then obviously you're going to have a team that performs much better as a team, you know, uh, all together. Uh, I had it for many years in sport. I've been in some great relay teams um, that maybe didn't have the four fastest guys in the world, but because we got on so well, we ended up performing. Yeah. Um, and then there's, there's there's other teams out there, and, and I won't give any countries away, <laughs> <laughs> but there's other countries that have had guys that are a lot quicker than us, but they actually don't work well as a team. And it does make a difference. And when you're talking, certainly in the sporting world, when you're talking Olympics and World Championship, you know, you could be talking hundreds of seconds yeah. and tenths of seconds. And these things can be important. And it's no difference in the world of business. But that's for somebody who's already in the team. What about what advice would you give somebody who's looking for work but who's had a few knockbacks, a few rejections? Um, I think what, you know, one of the things that you can do, I mean, you don't have to be uh, in an organisation to have, you know, to be profiled, to be tested. Uh, and it's something that you can get done. Um, I would recommend it's something that you, uh, you, you possibly do. And you can add it to your CV. Um, and it, it might give recruitment companies, it might give you know, future employees a bit more information you know, about you. I, mean, I think the obvious one for me to answer that question is, is, is not to, to give in. Um, we all know it's tough out there. Um, there's a lot of competition. Um, for jobs, there seem to be more people looking for jobs than there are jobs. Although you know jobs are in, you know you know are increasing, uh, and, and to me actually, the person that possibly have had a few knockbacks that keeps on going. If I was an employer, they're the kind of person that I'd be looking to 
to take on anyway because they're showing a certain amount of resilience by mm. keeping on going and knocking on doors and doing whatever it takes to you know to get themselves in that door to try and get themselves in the world of um, a world of employment so those are the sort of things that could actually help you if it's not quite going your way to to almost use it to your advantage and keep on going keep on going keep on going because employers will pick up those those those, those small things and mm. those small things that could possibly make a difference very good. Final question about you. Mm-hmm. You've been Group Performance Director for Thomas since October, I think. Yes, October the yes. yeah. What have you discovered about yourself since oh, then? Blimey, what have I discovered about myself? Um, well, it's quite funny. I'm at the age of 49, and this is my first ever real job <laughs> for being a professional <laughs> sportsman, uh, to being self-employed uh, for, you know, for, for many years. Um, so what have I learned about myself? That's a really good question. Um, uh, I'm learning, I mean I've been involved in teams in, in the world of sport, but I'm learning now to, to fit into a new team, um, certainly a lot bigger than the team that I've uh, been used to sort of uh, working with. Um, new pressures, that's something that's, that's, that's different. I'm now having to test myself in areas that I've not really been mm-hmm. tested in before. Um, and pretty much daily, I'm finding myself in, in, in new environments, in new situations that, that I, that I uh, have not been in. And one of the things that um, our CEO, Martin Reed, keeps on telling me, says that you know a lot more than you give yourself credit for. Uh, and it's one of the things that I guess even from in the world of sport, I was quite tough on myself and I'm still like that, you know, like that now. So just understanding what I can bring to, to our organisation is something that I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to learn. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I've got such a long way to go. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I am beginning to understand and learn what I can bring to the, the sort of the Thomas family, um, and I'm just sort of concentrating on that and hoping. Well, it's going from strength to strength, and I'm hoping it will continue. Very good. Thank you very much for your time, Derek. No problems. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.